Alright, quick news update for Binance. So it's looking like the SEC is coming out and suing Paxos for issuing Binance's stablecoin BUSD. Uh, since this news came out, Binance dropped almost 10% on the day, down about 8.5% as of the time of recording this. Uh, I'll talk about this uh, THR in just one moment. Uh, if we do come over to Binance BUSD as well, uh, you can see that it has, you know, slightly, slightly dropped, but, you know, in general, it's still maintaining its one BUSD to one uh, US dollar pair. There's been a few times that it's dipped beneath this uh, one dollar valuation but you can see we are having quite a big move down and quite a lot of volume coming in uh, as people are selling uh, Binance USD I still do think this will maintain its one dollar pair just giving you a quick update on this now in terms of the main takeaways uh, from what is happening right now, I've summarized this over on my Twitter. Basically, the SEC is looking to sue Paxos for the issuance of Binance's stablecoin BUSD, and the SEC is alleging that BUSD is an unregistered security. Now, uh, it's not 100% certain if the SEC is planning on suing the firm for issuing the stablecoin or just listing it. Uh, however, if they are suing Paxos for listing BUSD, uh, then like it says over on this article on Watcher Guru, seems like a lot of other cryptocurrency exchanges could be in trouble because you know a lot of cryptocurrency exchanges currently have BUSD listed at this moment in time. Now, why are they specifically targeting Paxos and not all of the other cryptocurrency exchanges that uh, do have uh, BUSD listed? Well, if you do come over to the Binance US dollar white paper, it literally says in the first line before we do get to the white paper, uh, that Binance USD was launched in partnership with Paxos and Binance. So, of course, you know, Paxos is kind of like the spearhead of this operation with Binance, so it makes sense for uh, the SEC at least to, you know, name Paxos and come after them first. Uh, you know, the SEC's been after a lot of people recently. For example, KuCoin recently got uh, attacked by the SEC and they just paid a $30 million settlement. And also, Binance has already been in trouble in the past year with the DOJ Department of Justice. Now, uh, Paxos posted over on their Twitter basically confirming this, that this morning uh, they will no longer be minting any new BUSD tokens. They have also stated that existing BUSD tokens are fully backed and redeemable through Paxos. Uh, so, you know, basically they're looking to maintain the one-on-one -on -one ratio with BUSD. Uh, I'm just giving you a news update. I do think BUSD is probably going to maintain its $1 peg. I personally say this all the time on my channel. I don't trust any stable coins. Uh, but with that being said, BUSD and USDT and USDC, these are probably the safest stable coins. But, you know, nonetheless, not a good look for the cryptocurrency space. And of course, Binance is plummeting since this news has come out. We do have a bearish engulfing candle currently playing out on BNB, which is not their stable coin. Uh, you know, this is not looking good at all right now. You can see that we just have had a wick and we're currently sitting right underneath the bull market support bands for Binance. Now, I don't want to make this too much of a TA video. Um, if we do come over to the weekly time frame, you can basically see, you know, we really do have a decision to make in the immediate short term for Binance USD right now. I do think we are going to be magnetized to lower levels in the immediate short term. We do have if I zoom out so you can see, I've got two Fibonacci's swing lows drawn from here. Of course, drawn up to the swing highs up here. And you can basically see that we've got a nice double 618 Fibonacci uh, to keep your eyes on. Round about $267, which from where we are at this moment in time could still imply that Binance could drop about another... 7.7% in the immediate short term. As we do come down to this level, uh, this is really where a decision is going to be made. I do see us coming down to this level very, very soon. Uh, if we do lose this support floor, you can see after this, we do have a little bit of support at $240. Uh, if we start losing this, I do think it's likely that we're going to come all the way down to your next target, your 786 Fibonacci at $150. If we do look at the volume profiles as well, let me re-update these because it's been a while since I have looked at the B, uh, BNB chart. Uh, you can see huge, huge volume profile starts to kick in round about $133. And if we do zoom out, uh, reset the chart, you can really see, you know, right now, if we do start losing this support, we really don't have anything beneath this holding us up. We just basically went up in a complete straight line and we don't have support built down really until about $40. Not that I'm saying we're going down to $40. Uh, the price targets that I indicated in the immediate short term just one second ago are really what I've got my eyes on. In terms of Binance's oscillators, if we come over to the weekly time frame, you can see the squeeze momentum indicator has actually started to kick into light red, indicative that we should be starting a new bearish trend very soon. You can also see if we do look 
at the weekly MFI, the money flow index, this is like the RSI, but it also takes into account volume. Uh, if we are drawing, you know, through this data point, this data point, uh, and this data point here, you can see the MFI money flow index, basically the volume in the market is quite extended right now. And we're reapproaching and we've basically retapped this trend line, uh, which has been in play for Binance since around about $357. Now, this wasn't the all time high. Uh, we did top out on this peak for the MFI. However, obviously, volume has been slowly flowing out of the markets. And more or less, when you come up, have a peak, you move back down, have a peak. This was the top, you break back down. You have a peak in the MFI, you break back down have a peak in the MFI, you know, had a scam pump and then you broke back down. So it's looking like the MFI wants to start moving down as well, just like the squeeze momentum indicators telling us we're getting ready for a new bearish trend. If we do look at the stochastic RSI uh, on the weekly time frame as well, the moving averages have just crossed indicative that we're about to start moving to the downside. Now, uh, we approached basically about 90 for the stochastic RSI. And the last time we were around about this 90 level, we were actually here topping out around about $336. And we, of course, did move back down to $220, uh, which is still a higher high from this level here. So, you know, currently it looks like we're getting uh, converged something like this is really what I see us playing out in. Uh, I do see this being a continuation pattern. I do see uh, Binance breaking down to the lower price targets that I did mention. Of course, your 786 Fibonacci, uh, or rather your 618 Fibonacci in the immediate short term, $267. Then we've got a little bit of support around about 240 but in terms of where uh, where I expect Binance BNB to bottom in the bear market, uh, I don't think we can expect a bear market bottom to come in before we do come down to the 786 Fibonacci at $150. I still do see in the higher time frames and the lower time frames, uh, Binance BNB holding up very well and subsequently being very, very overextended uh, compared to other altcoins. So there we go. Just wanted to give you a quick TA update. Just wanted to let you know what is happening with the news right now with the SEC coming on after Binance once again, uh, them suing Paxos for issuing the BUSD stablecoin, which they did pioneer according to the white paper. Uh, I will leave the link down below to this news article from Watcher Guru. Like I said, I summarized the main points of this over on my Twitter, but if you want to read through the entire thing, uh, that will be down below for you. So that's all I've got for you for this video, my friends. As always, if you do enjoy the content, let me know down below by leaving a like and a comment. Share the videos with your friends, and if you do want more of my posts, charts, memes, economic data, all that good stuff, be sure to head over to my Twitter, at 618 underscore cowboy. Come and join the Discord community. If you head over to the YouTube, click on About. You can see all of my official links for my Twitter, Discord, Instagram, and merch store are down below uh, these are my only socials i won't dm you first anything else is a scam all of my official links discord twitter all of that is down below so anything else is not me uh, but for today my friends that's all i've got it's been your boy cowboy trades i'm out peace